To fix the error code 3 in Premiere Pro, the first thing you want to make sure is that you meet the minimum requirements to run Premiere. So if you go to System Requirements at Adobe's website, you will find this table here showing you the requirements. If you're not sure what hardware you have, they have also made a video here showing you how to do that. Preferably, you want to make sure that your system is meeting the hardware recommendations, which is a bit higher than the minimum requirements. The second solution is an easy one. You can just try to export one more time. And if that doesn't work, try to restart Premiere Pro or lastly, reboot your computer. This is known to fix a bunch of bugs, so I will just remind you that this is an option. The third solution is to go to the export tab here in Premiere Pro, and then you want to expand the video section, click on more, and then scroll down to the encoding settings here, and change the performance to software encoding. Using this option, Premiere will only use your CPU and leave out your GPU, meaning the export times will be a bit longer. The fourth solution you can do for the Windows users is to go to the graphic settings and then click on browse and then select the Adobe Premiere Pro application in your file system and click on add. Next, click on Premiere Pro in this list, click on option and then choose the option called High Performance and click on Save. The fifth solution is to check the timecode in the error message here. And you can see my error was triggered around 44 seconds. And here I can see I have a nested sequence starting at 44 seconds. So this is probably what's causing the error. In that case, you can try to re-edit to the timeline do some modifications to it, maybe trim it a little bit. Here are some other things you can also check for around the timecode. I've written an entire article on my website about this error. I'll leave a link to this one in the description as well. You can also see I've written that you want to update your GPU drivers. And then I left some links to the uh, most common GPU manufacturers to download it from. Also, you can head over to the Creative Cloud application and then go to the Updates section and make sure that Premiere Pro is up to date. For more solutions to try, check out this article on my website, which gives you a bit more details about all the solutions as well. I link to it in the description. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.